What's up guys, FishingTV.com, Jen's Tang. My nightingale gallon update, haven't updated since April, did a lot to the tank. My neons were all hiding because I turned the lights back on. Ah, uh, here's my baby. My baby flatty in the back, you can't really see him too well. I think that one's the mom, that was the mama and dad. My platties, Mickey Mouse, and Assorted. My two albino quarries, and my other platy, and my neon. And they're all hiding. There's the other one. They're all kind of in shock when I turn the lights off in the video. There's my angel. Hey buddy, you gonna come back to the screen? Look at this beauty. He's about, I'd say, slightly bigger than quarter size right now. He's posing. Look at him. Completely gorgeous, showing off. Showing off for the camera. Today I am dripping, accumulating my new black skirt tetras that are accumulating in here in the dark so the cats don't get to them. I'll show a video of them tomorrow being put in. Well, not tomorrow, but I'll show them being inside the tank tomorrow. My Amazon sword is doing pretty well. They're pretty big since I got it. By the way, this is how I make my filter. The original tubing. And let's see if I can turn the lights on. Show you better. There you go. The fish are in shock a little bit because I had to turn the lights on. This is a flu valve canister filter, regular hose. That is piping tape, wrap and round, EVC, attached to here, more piping. And have this attached to that. Regular hose. Hose clean. That's my original hang on back that came with the filter. And I moved the big piece of driftwood. Oh yeah, drip in your fish. May take longer, but it's healthier in the long run. And this little pissant right here. This cat, he decided he was going to play in the back of my tank and he knocked one of the hoses loose with the water about this high. Same to say, it drained it to about here, including all the water that was in that hang on back filter and some of the water that was in the actual canister itself. And thankfully, nothing was broken or Look at that beauty. Vinny, if you can tell me what he, if it's a male or a female, I'd be glad to know. He or she is clearly showing off right now. You can tell he's loving it. These guys. He's doing fine finally with the neon. I think some of them only neons had babies. See? Major allergy. And I don't need down to just the one light. This is one light, guys. Believe it or not. Angel showing off. Hey, be nice. Showing off, loving the camera. Look at him. He's loving it. Hey, guys. still see him and then he looks pretty sweet. That's the light above the tank and my quarries. Now we go upstairs. If you're wondering who that is, that's my fiance in the background. Going upstairs, I had rescued a feeder goldfish from a picnic my 
future mother-in-law's work was having is temporarily in this one gallon mini bowl front. I just did a water change on it today. I do a water change on this every other day. Well, every few days. Here I got a female lady girl with two cherry barbs. Which they're probably hiding right now. You can't really see them. Because they're sleeping. I wonder if she's still alive. Nope. It's fine earlier. Yep, she's alive. She's alive. Just had to make sure. Huh. Not sure what to name you yet. I had you for a while. Not sure what to name you. And, oh, there's a cherry barb right there. Got three of them. I'm gonna get a few more. And over here are my fry that I've had for about three weeks. They're sleeping. A few of them might be dead. I don't know. I've had them for a while. So. Oh, and I also got this guy. Citrus, my new male beta. A little orange, orangey color, which is why I need citrus. And that's about it. Later.